fucking close. I feel like those weather reports. Hey, there's 32 lines. So, what the fuck? I bet come get you one of these. I feel like. Let's go. Let's see what you're doing. Hey, that fern here. Really nice. That type of fern tree fern. Yeah. Yeah, that tree fern variety. And that's how the new growth looks like black people here, the spiral, you know. My lady is telling me in the video, they say most things in nature grows in, a, grows in a spiral. And it seems like your life, your life take on the spiral effect, too. cycles and everything there. Alright, guys, this is a close up. The fern is called Bracken Fern. And it's an in invasive plant. I'm gonna tell you about the spiral, see the new growth there. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, so we see a spider, but I know where. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm called, tell me. <laughs> you don't even move. Alright guys, so that's Kadian Looking all neat on the trail Yes, holding on the edges guys, holding on the edges Guys this hike to the water puddle, the water puddle, the waterfall is not a joke. First of all, it's an hour hike from where we're camping. And it's not for the faint of heart. Let me see if we can show you a quick look out. Hold on. This is some of the views here, guys. But you see where it gets light? Yeah, that's going down. You know how you guys can see that. So yeah, man. The funny trail. <laughs> The camera Monday. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is a species of I think it's fern too. It kind of look like fern, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. It's a whole wall, guys. Mm -hmm. These are actually what people they people make fake walls like this now, like yeah, photos for real. and stuff. This is a real deal. Spiraling plant again. <laughs> Super low. <laughs> Guys, what in the entanglement? <laughs> Look at this. Look at these tangled tree roots. Entanglement like a new one. Jada Pink is an yes. August <laughs> Alcina. <laughs> What's it do? Entanglement. Alright, guys, so finally reached the waterfall. Uh, I'll go down there, I'll go to the Waterfall. And a rainbow in there, too. Oh, they think I see it. Rainbow, yeah. <laughs> That's a silly. Nice water for you. Guys, I'm here at the waterfall. I'm here at the waterfall and I dropped down the bit some more, so yeah. I just wake up myself to the tide pool and the rain is very, very cool. <sighs> Okay. I'm 
So you ready? Oh, oh, crap, oh, 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 like berry fungi <laughs> all right guys so look at that tree that tree a root yeah i don't know what it is i think it's a root but it come out of the sky of a tree and it form a whole twist you know see the root is you know guys coming from here so i form a twist round and you know Okay, so cutting out the pumpkin.
guys so we're going to be chopping up the vegetables now all right so we have the onion we have the kalaloo we have some thyme and we have some scallions and don't mind my eyes it's like super bright out here all of a sudden like so anyways let's get into it <laughs> in a tube if you know what i mean yeah you know what i mean if you know you know <laughs> if it happens but guys so seeing that this is going in color it doesn't even have to really be so fine i'm just getting extra most jamaicans probably would have just chopped it in chunks but um you know if you want a little bit more flavor it's best to chop them finely so that all of that can um what's the right word for it now i can't think of it at the moment but it's basically so that you can get the most essence out of it so to speak the smaller you cut it the more flavor you're gonna get out of it so yeah oh my garlic is missing i gotta go get my garlic you guys see the view I'm literally like on a mountainside right now. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, boy, boy. So we got our onions over there. You don't have to chop up the thyme, I'm the extra, and I'm gonna grind it up. I'm gonna chop it. Usually, what I do is I bend it. When you bend it, you kind of give it a little squeeze. Kind of get the pieces percolating so ooh, mm, smells great already i'm gonna throw out the stem because we don't need that some more of it guys in no way shape or form are we pros we are just pros at good vibes that's all and we have some little outdoor cooking Good vibes. Excuse me, Nike wants to forsake me now. Oh my god. Mm, the time smells so good. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the scallions. Or scallion, as Jamaican say. This is the only type of littering that I promote clearly. This is biodegradable. Okay. Holding them and chopping them. Last but not least, the kalil. Hey guys, so this is it. Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit of him. Alright, guys, so. Putting in stuff now in the pot. We already have some pumpkin and we have a fresh bunny pepper. So, and the pumpkin and slash bunny was stewing in some oil, just in case you're wondering. and everything together all right so finishing up now guys hey guys we're almost done half oh, good style great pumpkin still a little it's soft, man. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Oh, yeah, then soft with you guys. You just squeeze it. Sit. sit there. So, that kalaloo with salt fish and pumpkin. Yeah. And garlic. With onions. Onion, scallion, thyme. Yeah, nice vegan meal, off grid. Mm hmm. 
Alright guys, sharing time! I'm so colorful. Mm-hmm. It really outdid itself. <coughs> as simple, as simple as you see, amazing. Okay, amazing. Mm. Really nice. And all of it, like it's just simple ingredients. Nothing much, nothing crazy. Everything cheap though. Really cost cost friendly. Guys, let me tell you something. Really budget friendly meals, you know. As long as you are cooking with garlic, onion, thyme, pepper, could be any type of pepper, your choice, Dutch one type of whatever, whatever. Oh, if I just black pepper. Yeah, even just black pepper. A little tip of butter, you're always gonna be gooch. And your little powder seasoning, you're always gonna be. You know and if you can add more think of more creative things even better but i'm just telling you those are just the staples those are just the staples <sighs> y'all better come get you one of these <laughs> what's that what's that that's your chicken salad <laughs> <laughs> Pre superior <laughs> superior <laughs> Superior guys, superior. <laughs> Not just regular, you know. <laughs> so okay guys. Well, guys, funny story about these trees. We'll tell you a different time, but yeah. Just know that it's a very mystical these way, were way. Um, a mystical gift. Yeah. From the divine itself because And we got some cool skillets too. Mm-hmm. Some stone skillets. Yeah. Oh, you, you saw one of them, I was chopping. <coughs> yeah, because no, the vegetables are on here. Yes, earlier, guys. So. See, that's why you don't talk while you're eating, you see? And we last, we had a big last too. We suffered a big last and then we stuff, then we end up, got something in return. And I guess that's how the universe works, you know? So when you all lose things in life, don't want to beat up yourself. Because when you lose something, it's a sign that you're about to get something new, you know? Maybe mm -hmm. a better thing to replace it, so. So, yeah, that's the lesson of this, you know, where you had a big loss, we suffered a huge loss. You wouldn't believe, guys, honestly. <laughs> the loss was so detrimental, it almost cost the channel, and uh, it's crazy, you know, but we're there the same way. Learn with this, you know. When you mm -hmm. lose something, it just means you will get something better for your place. See, that's all it means, you know. real off-grid style, you know, the juice is different from what came in the actual bottle, you know, you know, you know. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some fruit 
Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Pumpkin in the fridge of my door. Pumpkin is a nice flavor. Color one stuff. Definitely. And the butter. Mm-hmm. You can get the garlic is really doing its thing too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> garlic butter. Mm. See? Mm. So not it? Mm, garlic butter. I right, make it taste so good enough. We used to obsess with garlic butter in time of the America guys. And like we get for Korean vented by ourselves. Mm. You know, by mincing up with garlic and then <coughs> adding like butter. Infusing it with your food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My garlic butter the bomb. Mm-hmm. People think eating healthy is boring. It's sweet. It tastes really. Re well, I've been cooking Jamaican meals. It ain't. Can't do it. How is man? Pimento. Pimento. Pimento berries. Pimento. Oh. Mmm. Camping. It's going good so far. Yeah, the birds are great. <laughs> <laughs> birds say cosine, cosine. Yeah, camping really nice. Ah, good. You know, this is the lifestyle and the lifestyle that we share. Mm -hmm. And you guys seem to really, really love the off grid lifestyle <laughs> thing. Why not love the foolishness? <laughs> and we give thanks to the viewers, you know, because Jamaica is just the place for that. Mm -hmm. A lot of hidden gems, you know, in the wilderness where we can cook and camp out and all of them stuff. Yeah. That's really a fucking vibe. Yeah, once you have the heart beat, you know, and everybody brave. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once you develop the courage, you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to explore for little to nothing, come here. Mm -hmm. No stupid government rules about you not being able to go to certain rivers because just because they can't make a profit off of it and stuff. Quite frankly, <coughs> the government is on hiatus, so <laughs> it's really up to you as a citizen what you want to do, really and truly. I mean, it's kind of sad, but you don't have to use it in a bad way. You don't have to use that knowledge in a bad way, you know. Just as yeah. much as, you know, there's no official government support, you can use that to your advantage down here if you're smart, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can make a fucking living for yourself, and you can do very well for yourself if you're smart. But, you know, a lot of people down here, it's like they just give up, and they just, they're just just focusing on the illusion that was created, that they're poor and this and that, and if they really... <laughs> took a second to look around and see what the hell they had around them they would realize they're fucking mm -hmm. jamaican people have moringa just hanging around the place we they have, have fruit trees just all over the place you don't the need no permission to go pick them to go do anything and these people are complaining that they are poor there's pimento berries that you know that gives that jerk flavor that's mm -hmm. bottled Not in trusty, people markets yeah. in the u.s and everywhere like it's like it's you know everyone has a phone down here too and no one is thinking business with the phone it's just yeah, the fashion like people's yeah, business. online business you know etsy sell their stuff on if etsy they really want to sell things we have so online much business we have so much medicinal plants that people can dry and sell as teas yes like, and it's what i do a killing for the internet but, because <laughs> they don't grow overseas i don't know what these people doing i don't know but i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do y'all know <laughs> Stay tuned if you want to see what I'm going to do, okay? <laughs> Gotta be smart, guys. Just be smart. That's all. And the whole illusion we set up around enough to make us feel like we're poor. We're not feeding to it and then we're not sad now. We're not making ourselves poor because we don't believe we're poor. <clears throat> now maybe if we just take a look around in nature and like do things like this to live on a mood every day and just take ourselves outside of the hustle and bustle of the 9 to 5 life, the fast life. We never realize sometimes all you need to do in our life is just take a step back 
can just look around and you're good you get what I mean? just a different perspective as I tell you, my channel Kabbalah is talking about just a different perspective that's all you need sometimes in your life sometimes I know, I know the money and the ray 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 all you need more well is a different perspective you know and that's what we offer on this channel <coughs> you know that's how we come for offer a different perspective I can also say yes life you can enjoy life and while you try to manifest your goals you know you can be happy while doing it you know if you stress out you know if you go against the grain and uh, hustle and bust you get what I say you can manifest you manifest faster too from a peaceful space you know keeping your mood right and everything mm-hmm. what you said <laughs> but seriously guys oh man Jamaica is such a beautiful place Oh, and that's why the celebrities the man is a come down here, come enjoy the things they might do want to enjoy. The Jamaican people them all them want to do at work. The celebrities they might come out here every time. Mm-hmm. They enjoy yeah, the, the nature of Jamaica. And it's not expensive, so I don't know why one thing say a five star restaurant you don't need to go eat for enjoy themselves. The tourists them not do that. The celebrities the tour- want street food. Exactly. And they want to pass every day and skin up your face. After. Exactly. And the celebrities them want and celebrities and tourists them want to go to the untouched nature spots them. Mm-hmm. which is free most of the time and the little open rivers them were free most of the time but Jamaican people don't want to go them things here you know, they're obsessed with the American flash life and the only reason why they hire chefs is because they don't know how to cook Jamaican food but if they have like a local friend that knows how to do it even better for them yeah you know what I mean <laughs> so that's all they want that's all they want the things that you get every day <clears throat> they want some Jamaican food they want to hear some reggae they want to go party okay they want to party, they want to dance, they want to smoke, they'll have, <laughs> it's like a crime to sell weed down here because the way is so cheap, but yeah. I'm complaining. Weed cheap down here, so anything, for all of my American viewers, marijuana is very, 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 very cheap in Jamaica. Dirt cheap, guys. And it's good marijuana, so not just, no, it's real strong grains, you know? Mm-hmm. Mostly sativa dominant, but in the recent times, I'm coming with more hybrid balanced type in the past maybe two years or so some different strains were introduced introduced to the island mm-hmm. but the original land race them are mostly sativa dominant guys this cat is walking around making some weird noises yeah it's a native cat it's so cute though but yeah guys i think this is the first time in history i finished on camera Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell you it was good. If you know me, you know that I'm a very picky person when it comes to food. But when it's good, it's good. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, it was delicious and well enjoyed. Oh, and <laughs> between you and I, it was an abuse. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, the eyes were going down, the vibes were going high, mm-hmm. and yeah, we out here. So, that concludes this segment, guys. I know we look a little more fancier than usual, but we're step up in our life. What can I say? We're going forward, not backwards. Yeah, mm-hmm. we get our new tools. That means that we're not off-grid still. We're still off-grid. Let me look at your food, yo. Mm-hmm. Um, should I do a thing? I look of you. Yeah, I look of you. No, I mean, I step up in our life, man. You can't stay stuck. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a big giant thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed if you want to subscribe already and make sure you share this video with a friend and another friend and your dog and your cat and your lizard and your mama too <laughs> all right guys peace out